Another YouTube, this is your boy RJ, back with another video for you guys. And as you can see by the title, this is something very different than what I normally do. This is a video as to 10 reasons as to why you just can't get a goddamn win in the limit. As in why you can't go 12 and 0. And if this is a good video for you guys, hit the thumbs up button. Also, subscribe if you're new, join the Lace Up crew. You know the vibes and how we rock in and how we do. So first and foremost, going into my team, there are more reasons I can get into. Um, definitely, if you guys enjoy this video, I can make another video explaining more about this. But there are definitely more um, in regards to, we're just going to be talking about 10 specific reasons. And starting off with the number one reason that if you're losing now i'm not gonna sit there and say this is for everybody the next video i may drop is going to be something very entire very entire very different than normal it's going to be a video explaining and i will definitely get into that on the next video but with this video the biggest the biggest biggest reason is if you have your meter on now, I'm not sitting there saying that people can't win with the meter on. This is not for those that do win with the meter on, congratulations. But majority, if you've seen competition, meter was off. And the reason why, because there was a time in the beginning of 2K when it first came out that with the meter off, it gives you, I believe, a 5% boost on your jump shot, making it easier for you to green your shots. And that I didn't really believe it until after I played in the first qualifier, and then when I when I turned the meter off, man, tell me I, I was a green llama bean machine. So the shot meter off is definitely the number one reason if you don't um, normally play with that on. Um, if you play with it on, um, turn it off. You know what I'm saying? Like you know, give you some more time to, to work with jump shots. Definitely turn that off. Um, Number two is your team. Now, my team is not very much up to par. Like right now, you have a bunch of people that have a whole oval squad lineup, right? My thing is this, when playing my team, you can't play realistic, you feel me? Um, your mindset needs to be about shooting. And your mindset cannot be about, let me go to post mode, let me go do other things. You know, rim run, you wanna definitely do that still. But your mindset needs to be about shooting. And what I mean by that is, your whole lineup, especially the ones that's in the game, needs to be able to shoot the three ball. As you can see, every single player in this lineup can at least shoot the three somewhat. This Greek, this is the new Greek that just recently came out. Now, the Greek that come from the Spotlight Rewards definitely can be consistent from the three-point line. So, I would definitely recommend putting him in the starting lineup if you have him. But, you'd want to have a five-man rotation to shoot the three. And that's the reason number two. If you go out there with a, with a, a lineup of realism and you're like, yo, I, I want to use this player, I want to use that player, I want to use this player because I like seeing him in the NBA in the real world. Don't don't bring the real world to 2K. Let's just leave that out, right? You know, let, let's leave that out. You know, number three, the biggest reason as to why you keep losing. Um, if you're not running a specific playbook. Now, I know a lot of people use from Bucks to Blazers. Um, I've heard some people use the Magics. Pretty much, they look for three point plays. Um, the biggest playbook that's been going on for the past two years is Bucks Playbook. And the reason why I say Bucks Playbook is because the majority of five out. That's, you know what? Let's just be honest. Let's just talk about the whole freaking game momentum period. If you want to win, just run five out. Make it easier on your life. Don't stress. I mean, now, like I said before, if you have the IQ to do what you gotta do, I can definitely show you why. Let's go, as a matter of fact, let's go into some gameplay. We're gonna do some, let's do a little single domination. Now, reason number four. If you're going into a game and you just go into play, you're pretty much leaving your de defense to do everything for you. So you want to make sure you start learning your defensive settings. 
And here's the defensive setting that I normally use. I'll go ahead and show you guys. Tight on ball pressure. Tight off ball pressure, depending on how I want it. Sometimes I can go smothered, but I mainly start off with tight. Switch ball on everything. Now, it really depends. When you're, when you're playing comp, I'll get into a video to display a little bit more about that. I stay attached, switch off ball screens, and you know, we, we switch pretty much everything. No help. And if you know the reason why we do no help, man oh man, 2K and they AIs. Now, offensive setting, like I stated before, we talked about it, you always run a five out type of play. The best one that I like running is this one, ISO five out four, or you have people that mainly run, uh, where is it at? It's 64 5 out down. So, and you can assign it to a player, assign it to magic, whatever, right? Okay. So, we're going to get into the gameplay itself and explain to you guys. There are plenty of reasons as to why you can sit that, that you continue to keep losing in Unlimited. But I'm here to give you tips and tricks and, you know, how to be great at the game. Am I saying, I'm, am I, saying I am the best? No, I'm not the best. But. Um, I can play at a high good level. I can definitely say that now number Are you on number five number five number five as to why you keep losing in Unlimited well I'll definitely get into that see five out, you know, you can just go to the rim kick out right there That should be cash every single time, but I missed so you want to make sure you green your shots, but definitely number five you want to off ball now y'all I know y'all like wait 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 did you just say off ball yes you want to off ball and what I mean by off balling I don't just mean sitting on the center like this the whole game right just just doing this right no I don't mean that at all what you want to do you want to play a little pressure switch over you see I'm switching between players you know pretty much you're putting pressure defense or making the AI step up to play pressure defense because sometimes you let the AIs just play defense, they'll play a little bit of lockdown defense, but they don't get aggressive. So what I like to do is, I like to play a little pressure, put them up on them, then I'll switch to another player to a little bait. See, I'll switch, put it back on them, and I'll switch to bait. Then I'll box out with the big, he just hit that shot though, that was a good shot. So you pretty much want to start learning how to switch between players, put pressure defense on the ball, and then pretty much off the ball itself, baiting the passes. That's pretty much the go-to with defense. If you can become a fabulous baiter, you'll be ready for competition in no time. Number six of how to be great and the reason why you keep losing. On fast breaks, when you're going on a fast break, sometimes it's best to slow it down, but if you know what you're doing, pull up jumpers in this game is and I'm going to show you guys number six get your pull-up game going right and if you know what I mean by saying that you'll see in this moment right here get definitely get your pull-up game going right as you see that right here green being like money team if you know what you're doing you know the animations there are like three animations from the pull-up jumper they're like three so if you get comfortable with those three take all your shots no matter I'm not gonna sit there and say well to be honest you can definitely take a shot test it but my thing is don't really be afraid to take a shot especially with the space you have if you get what I'm saying you'll, you'll understand like spacing on here it's about you knowing the spacing knowing the, the shots to take like I take a lot of deep ones like I'm gonna give him right here to Kobe that's a shot it's cash I mean I'm gonna give those you know he can hit those especially on a consistent basis if you know the animations if you know the pull-ups do them definitely do them number seven now I understand that we all want to go out there with you know a high level a high level team right you know you all want to go out there with some type of a high level team to play against more competition players now I know the biggest thing of you guys want to definitely know is how can you be competitive how can you be a player with competition well you definitely just want to run 
either pick and pop, pick and roll, handoffs. I mean, I would say behind the back, but they took that out the game. Which, the behind the back is not that bad now. But definitely number seven, don't freaking spam the turbo all day. And I'm going to show you why. That's really what this is about. Don't spam the turbo all day. Turbo can get you just all left out. When you take away turbo and you speed back up, you see you see how he moves quicker? Pretty much take your hand fully off turbo. All way, it's like Just switch it up a little bit. You don't got to rim run, speed, hold, turbo, thrash it all the way down until you get to the rim. No. Change of direction is what number seven is what I'm talking about. Change of direction with the player movement. When you're, when you're going through turbo, your player goes at a high level speed rate that when you take your uh, your finger off that turbo, he tends to slow his body down. Like he, his player movement slows down. So it pretty much it's like you, you let it go and you, you put it, it's like a stop and go. See, hesitate, go. Kick it over. I mean, at the end of the day, you'll notice the transition to speed when you let it go and you put your finger back on the turbo button. Change the tempo, change the momentum with the turbo button. Learn, learn to get better definitely with that. Number eight. Number eight. And this is this is the uh, a more important one. I would definitely say, please pay attention to the score. And the reason why I say pay attention to the score is because no matter if you're blowing somebody out, don't start chucking up shots because you start blowing somebody out. You know, still play your high level momentum tempo. This is for the serious competitive players, and and I'm and. This is for the serious competitive players and also for the ones that do win. But at a high tempo level, we end up losing because of the fact that we don't pay attention to the of the score. Definitely pay attention to the score because no matter how much you're up and you start doing stupid, it's like RNG, bro. At the end of the day, it's a momentum thing. If you start seeing your, your momentum shift down to where it's like, man, what is going on? My team is at like, you'll start noticing your team is definitely acting up. So I advise you to definitely use your timeouts effectively. Definitely use those timeouts to slow yourself down. That way you can get yourself back together because it's like, man, you definitely don't want to give, give them a lead back up. Give me that. Number nine. Now, number nine um, is, is pretty much uh, a, a basic one. Um, it's not too much important, um, but I say number nine is your camera angle. Now, camera angles, I will say definitely, definitely matters. I've tried between 2K to broadcast. Um, I tried drive high. It's like different camera angles can give you the, the ability to take the shots that I would normally take, like the pull-ups. Now, I'm not sitting there saying you can't be consistent doing it on broadcast, doing it on 2K, doing it on high or drive or anything like that. What I'm saying is the camera, the camera angles matter because of the animations that you trigger from the camera angle. Like, you know when you play on broadcast and you try to do a rap? Due to the camera angle, you cannot do the same rap by just pushing down on the stick because the fact that Especially on my, like, on my, for instance, my camera angle. I'm going to show you the two differences of what I mean. So, right, right now, you know, we're playing on 2K low, right? When we get the ball back, I'm going to show you how to do the rap. If you got, you guys know how to do the rap itself. So, I'm going to show you guys two different things, right? All right. So right here, we got the ball. We're going to rap right there, right? Okay. That's is what that was with 2K low. Now let's switch it to broadcast, right? And let's do the same exact thing pushing the stick down and let's see what animation we do trigger right okay step back you see what i'm saying step back camera angles definitely matters so that pretty much is a step back instead of the behind and back that i would normally do so definitely pick a camera angle of your choice that you that way you can trigger your animations to your liking number 10 number 10 number 10 number 10 what can i say about number 10 Number 10, I'm definitely gonna say it's not gonna be that important. Like I've, said, like I've stated before, I'm just gonna trigger everything all into number 10. You want to just, like I said before, play smart. You know, don't always force shots because of the fact that you're not greening. I mean, take your open shots, but don't always force your shots because you're not greening. Sometimes going for a dunk, 
going for a layup. Sometimes, you know, set a pick and roll, set a pick and pop. Make it easier for yourself. Don't make the game hard. When you make the game hard, that's how you become frustrated. If you start noticing that your opponent is catching on to what you do, switch it up ASAP. You know what I'm saying? Switch it up. Play chess. That's the biggest key word is of what I'm going to use with number 10. Play chess throughout your whole game. Don't do the same thing the whole game. Now, I will say this. Defense is different. But offense, don't do the same thing on offense the whole game and make it noticeable. Switch it up. So, the biggest takeaways of this video, like I stated before, this, I'm going to summarize it all up. Turn the shot meter off. Make sure you have a full team of shooters, nothing but shooters. Play smart. Choose your camera angles effectively to your liking. And go out there and be the best player you can be in my team. This is your boy RJ signing out on this video. Appreciate you guys tuning in. Hit the thumbs up button if you enjoyed this content. Also, subscribe if you're new. You know the vibes as always. Until next time, you do.